Howdy folks, welcome to the Wild West Crypto Show Daily Update, brought to you by Carnomaly, putting your car and everything about it on the blockchain. The IEO is uh, January the 12th. There are still a few pre-sale tokens left, so you ought to go to the website and pick you up some. And if you don't want any, give some to friends and family. As you see, I'm Brentless today, and uh, which puts me a little bit of a handicap because... Uh, you know, he typically does the numbers. I had to look a few things up, so I'm, I'm not going to dig dive real deep, but I am going to give you an update. Then we're going to check with Mitch from the Crypto Campfire podcast. If you remember a couple of weeks ago, he started that uh, sort of the initiative to raise money for somebody who needed some relief during COVID. He's going to give us an update of all that they've accomplished. So let me give you the numbers, and then we'll bring Mitch in. And we'll talk about it. Bitcoin is up 0.1%, and I thought this was kind of funny. It's at 19191. $19,191. The overall market is up a little bit. Uh, crypto market, Nadal is off 150. And when I looked at my fancy little chart like Brent has, I didn't get the SP or the NASDAQ. So I don't know if they're riding with the Dow or they're crashing or exactly what it is. Gold is down $8.34 to 1836. And silver's down a nickel to 23.99. So that's kind of the market. Folks, this is the week before Christmas week. So, they're, you know, we're, we're going to be running, shucking, jiving, a lot of things going on, people traveling. The electors are doing their deal today. So we'll see how this all pans out. Meanwhile, let's get to some good news. Bobby, can you bring, uh, there we go. Look at there. What's up, guys? No background today. Nothing fancy. Just in my wood shop. How you doing? Doing well, doing well. Hey, let me tell you something. The story you've got is fancy enough. So, I mean, that's all we need for bells and whistles. You know? <laughs> right on. Right yeah, on. Ab absolutely. So, a couple of weeks ago, you just kind of threw a message out there. You know, let's do something. One thing I love about the crypto space, Mitch, and I know you're into this, uh, the philanthropy in crypto is huge. And I think it's foundational globally. And I think it's going to lead to us having a better planet. As more people adopt crypto, they'll adopt philanthropy. So, Kudos to you for kicking that off. Tell us, tell us all that's happened. Okay, so since our last update that we did, um, we've currently I set up a wallet, I set up a um, coin tree, and so people can now donate on that coin tree link. And um, we've raised over almost twenty five hundred dollars in the crypto wallet right now, and I have another. 2000 almost $2,500 worth of contributions um, between Cash App and uh, our sponsor and somebody else that's donating as well. So nice. we're, we're close to $4,500, maybe $5,000. Um, the artists, the NFT artists, and guys, look on Twitter, check this out. The NFT artists, there's 30 artists that have created digital artwork for an auction that starts tomorrow and it goes tomorrow and then the next day. Um, and all of these artwork pieces that they've created are specifically for this. Um, all the funds rated or raised by this auction are going to go to this, this um, cause. And we actually came across a person, her name is Buddha Strauss, um, who is going to be the major recipient of all of these funds. Um, she's come down with a neurological issue back in March. She's a veteran. She's in her mid to late forties. Um, and it's, it's impacted her speech and her, um, mechanical abilities and so forth. So she's, it wasn't until this month that they couldn't, this month, they couldn't actually pay their bills this month. And they're trying to raise money to get her into the Mayo Clinic to find out what this issue is and also try and put a first floor bathroom in their home so she could use the shower downstairs instead of having to be helped upstairs. So I actually spoke with them today for the first time and it was, it was tear jerking to say the least. Um, they wanted to make sure that I expressed their complete gratitude for everybody that's doing this and everybody that's jumped on board to help um, as tough as a year that this has been for many people to be able to raise funds to help somebody is uh it's very moving. That is awesome. And especially this time of year. And one of the things I like about it, Mitch, and, and, you know, my wife and I donate to some of the kind of bigger charities that we like, but most of the stuff we do, we call it direct scholarshiping. 
Right. And that is where we go find someone in need and directly, you know, affect them. And that, which is basically what you did with this. And that way you have that you've got to visit with the family and the person who's going to receive this. I have to tell you, five thousand dollars goes a long way on anybody's budget. And that, you know, so kudos to all the people that reached out there. And for what you're telling me, it's not over yet because you no. have the artwork auction. Right. And we have yeah, the artwork it, auction, so that those funds will all be put into this. And hopefully, hopefully by Friday, everything's come together. And um, my goal is to get it all combobulated. I have it all put on a spreadsheet right now, keeping track of everything. And then I'm going to get it cashed out and a check written out to her. And my my goal is that right after Christmas, I will actually drive out to Illinois and hand deliver this check to her. And uh, yeah, so that's what, that's what, what I'm what hoping a, for. What a great new little way to close out the the <clears throat> year 2020. <clears throat> On a high note. Yeah, that's awesome. Well, listen, do us a favor, and I'm sure you will take some pictures and and share some some stuff. And you know, kudos to you for doing this and. It's, I, I have to tell you, I, I'm a long time believer. You actually get a lot more gratitude out of giving than you do receiving. And, yeah. you know, yeah. So you've had a bunch of people that have come to this and we all share a little piece. Folks, go on the site he did. I actually went on it a couple hours ago and was, it's took me five minutes to go over and send a hundred bucks over to the cause. And, and so for all the folks that did that, you know, we, thank you. Kudos out to everybody. Yeah. Absolutely. Right on. Right on. You know, it's just sometimes even as something as simple as giving up your cup of coffee, that five dollars you would have spent at Starbucks, Starbucks, and you get enough people doing that. I mean, you got a nice chunk of money to help somebody out that really could use it. Absolutely. Oh. Absolutely. Once again, kudos to you and folks. Check out Crypto Campfire uh, podcast. These guys are out there and they do a lot of good stuff. You and the professor get out there and uh, and and share with the planet, which is awesome, too. Right on, right on. And our, actually, this sparked our new goal for next year. We're actually going to develop a 501c3 leg of the crypto campfire, and we'll be taking donations for that throughout the year. And then at the end of the year, at Christmas time, kind of do the same thing, but hopefully on a little bit larger scale. Good for you, man. And, so. and, and you know, I, I have to tell you, Mitch, what, one of the things, we have, a, we have a local thrift store here in Kerrville, that supports a youth ranch. Mm -hmm. And this is where wayward kids go that, you know, whatever become, uh, they would be wards of the state, but they take them in, they'll raise them, teach them a skill and everything else been going on since 1977. Well, this thrift store, and I tell the story, my wife actually rents clothes from the thrift store. And by that, I mean, probably 80% of the clothes she buys. She goes to this thrift store, buys clothes, wears them two or three times, it donates takes them a back. And, yeah, right. Yeah, right. <laughs> so she rents them. I love it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. And, and trust me, for her, she likes to change clothes all the time. So it's great for me because otherwise I couldn't afford it. But also, you know real quick, I'm sorry to interrupt you. One more yeah. thing that I almost forgot. The Crypto Campfire podcast had, we had a neon sign made up. Um, by Voltage Goat, and we are auctioning off one of those signs, and the and all of the proceeds from it are going to go to this as well. Uh, we started the bidding off at two hundred dollars, and it's a really cool sign. So if you guys get a chance, visit the Crypto Campfire on Twitter and or our website, and you can see the design that we have picked out and and what we're going to do. So I'm, I'm sorry again to interrupt, but I, it's just another leg that's actually helping. It's so many different veins coming together to make one heartbeat you know yeah no that's a, that's awesome that's awesome what i was going to tell you what it was the story i was going to share is that you know sometimes even the help just for the individual so one of the things i did the lady who directs that her name is bridget and so we we know her very well and i went and i told bridget i said let me tell you something let me, something that we want to do and want to do it just anonymously but I, here's X, X amount of money. And when you see someone that is already, that has a family that is already shopping here because they're on a budget. So, you know, if they go to the thrift store, instead of being on Walmart, they're already looking for deals. And I said, if you find these people that happen to be a little short, here's some money, you decide how to divvy this up. And so, so far we, she's directly scholarship. And she tells me one of them was a lady who came in on Friday and she was just not a lot of money of 50 bucks, but short of being able to get the things she wanted to, and so Bridget said, hey, well, there's a Santa Claus out there that 
wanted to help out. So even 50 bucks can make a huge difference in absolutely. Yeah. How people can do things. So kudos to you guys. And, uh, I'm kudos to the community for coming together. You bet. Absolutely. So thanks, man. Thanks for uh, giving us the good for our update today and keep in touch. And I'll start, I'll look at the, uh, the art that you're doing. Okay. Right on, man. Right on. Thank you guys. You guys have a blessed day. You bet. You too, folks. We'll see you back here again tomorrow.